So, apparently, someone called Jack Feet Johnny out on his bullshit, okay? Now, of course, like typical nigga fashion, instead of taking responsibility, they want to go ahead and try to point the blame at everyone else. It is what it is, I guess, right? <laughs> Shit ain't going to change. You know, nigga don't change his stripes. So, I want to go ahead and kind of go over a video that uh, Johnny did since uh, he wanted to go ahead and try to blame everything else that he has done. Rather, try to go ahead and blame his legacy on everyone else. So, this is the video in question here. So, I'm going to go ahead and play it in its entirety, at least the part that where he talks about me, and let you hear it for yourself. Second thing, the drama queen shit. Anybody that I have ever made a video on or spoke on, just know that they came at me first. You know what I'm saying? Zephyrnix, Zephyrnix made a 15 video, ah, a 15 minute video about me as soon as I got on YouTube. On some dumb shit off a comment I love, right? He's flagged my channel multiple times. He flash flagged my channel. He got my AdSense removed. So any video that I make on Zephyrnix from here, from then to now is justified. Real shit. Zaire. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now. Anyone who goes out of their way like that to justify to justify doing drama is a drama queen, okay? So, literally, in the one part where you decide to go ahead and try to prove yourself not a drama queen, you proved yourself a drama queen. It's that goddamn easy. But, it gets worse than that. Now, first of all, he talks about how um, I started with him by making a 15-minute video on a comment. Well, that's not necessarily false. Uh, it's a little more than just that. So let me go ahead and kind of stroll you guys down memory lane, explain to you exactly what happened. It's all started on this particular video right here. Kill Zone, Shadow Fall, Knack, uh, Low Scores, PS4 Games, A Fail. Now, basically, I did this video, right? And he found my video and he made a comment on it. Okay? So wait, 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 wait a minute. How the hell did I start with you if you started by making a comment on my page? I'm just saying. But anyway, moving on. So here's the thing. He says, have fun playing local cycle, um, silly ass nigga. Now, funny thing about it is, is that he uh, he automatically assumed that I was, you know, going to get an Xbox One. Funny thing about it is that I did get an Xbox One eventually, but um, that, that was after I bought a PlayStation 4. So, anyway, so he did this little comment thing, you know, we went, we talked, um, um, Potts also had a conversation in it, it was, it was calm, it was legit, there was no hate, there was no hate in it, I made sure that I did not go ahead and attack anyone, calling anyone out their names, I purposely made sure I did that, especially back in this day. So, what happened was, I, I decided to go ahead and make a video on it, because this was the reason why I prefer not to debate, it was a prime example, so I did, and I talked about it, and I made sure in this video, which... You are free to go ahead and look up this video, do a search for Zephonix Watt. Matter of fact, I'll put this in the description below. And I said what reason why I don't want to debate. So I made sure that I did not, once again, talk, say anything of his name, did not say anything wrong to him. Made sure I was, you know, I kept it gaming. I kept it gaming. And so he said he'll be making a response to this if there's any valid points. Okay, well, that's fine. So here's the thing. Omega Loser said, you're going to lose, nigga. And he was like, we're going to see. So, okay, I guess we're going to see, right? So, this is the video. Um, what happened was is that he made a video and then I made a video response to that video. So, you'll be able to see two videos in one right here. You'll be able to see the video that I made in response to that video with clips of his video in this one. So, just watch out and you guys will hear exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> What's going on, guys? It's your boy Zephanix here. And check it out, man. Apparently, bitches be mad. They be mad over my opinion, over the fact, no, no, they be mad, they, 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 they get mad when I express my opinion over the PlayStation, PlayStation 4, whatever, but they really get mad when I spit them facts. When I spit them facts that they can't even go ahead and dispute, they get furious. So check it out, right? Of course, I'm going to make a response video to, um, was it Jack Feet Johnny or whatever the fuck his name is? I don't know. Like I said before, this nigga holding videos of me on his hard drive on his computer or rather his mama's computer. That nigga, he ain't got no computer. So he holding pictures of me on his mama's computer. So apparently I am more, um, I am more important to his life than vice versa, because I don't really give a fuck what his name is. Nonetheless, um, I want to go ahead and something, because this guy, this guy got real mad. He got so mad that he named his video, Dear Zephonix, Please Kill Yourself. Wow. So, question. 
Dear Zephnix, please kill yourself. But I started with you. I started with you. But the first, uh, we'll just call it stones or the first die cast or whatever you call it was you who said, Zephnix, please kill yourself. But it gets worse because we're not just talking about the title of a video, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and see what he said in that video. This nigga, when you start spitting shit like that, you know you mad. You know I struck a fucking nerve. But it gets worse than that. This nigga want to fight me to defend his plastic. Because you're not being worried about what I'm saying in, in text form, you shouldn't be, bro. I'm a nice guy. But if I was to ever meet you, I'd probably fuck you up. So you heard from his mouth. He wants to try to fuck me up over my opinion on the PlayStation 4. That said, though, I mean, since we've known him, this nigga been unemployed, so it ain't like he's trying to fuck up a job application, but, uh, yeah, apparently, uh, he can go ahead and fight someone over some PlayStation bullshit, but that's none of my business. Damn, you know what I mean? I'm just saying, man, it's one thing, I mean, I know niggas out there who sit there and fight over the bitch. I mean, then again, this nigga's in no danger of getting any pussy whatsoever, so I guess he got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. That being said, though, I mean, hey, if you think you got a shot, try your luck, son, because I mean, hey, there was one guy who tried that a couple of years ago and got laid the fuck out, so hey, maybe you'll fare a lot better than him, right? Yeah, mm -mm. but anyway, I'm just saying, man, so this guy is actually here, he wants to fight me. To defend his PlayStation, but oh, oh, it gets worse. He wants to fight me to defend a PlayStation while it came broke. I've been enjoying my PS4, you know what I'm saying? It's a dope air console, but I did have to send my control in to get a new one due to the fact that the goddamn headphone jack on the controller wouldn't work. Like <laughs> now, don't get it twisted. I don't give a damn about an audio jack, but nonetheless. Your shit came broke, but it gets worse than that, ladies and gentlemen. It gets worse than that. He wants to fight me to defend PlayStation while his came broke that he never brought. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Jack moving up. As you can see, I did end up getting the goddamn PS4. There's a gift, so I'm probably gonna be opening this bitch up until Christmas. So long story short, we got a nigga out here who wants to fight me over a broken PlayStation that he never brought. <laughs> I'm just saying, dude. What the fuck? Oh, but it gets worse than that, man. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Now, look at this bitch right here. I'm saying, since he want to call someone out on his looks, nigga, let's, let's take a look how you look, nigga. Look, first of all, who the fuck got fat underneath his eyebrows? Nigga, you got major league fat up in here. I'm just saying, you talking about half eating cheeseburgers, nigga. You look like you holding two cheeseburgers right here for the fucking winter. I mean, look at this one. I got another picture right here. Look at this. This nigga got unifat. <laughs> This nigga got Unifat in his fucking eyebrow. I'm just saying, man. Look at it, man. It, <laughs> it reminds me of like, dude, this nigga must be huge. He reminds me of that uh, a commercial I saw just a couple of days ago. I mean, not only that, not only that, man, but look at his glasses. Nigga, look at your glasses. Now, I look at this thing, I realize, man, I've seen these glasses before. These glasses, them same exact glasses that you actually go ahead and pick up at fucking Walgreens. So I was like, nah, nah, I can't be the same glasses. So, you know, this nigga went up ahead and I went ahead and went to my local Walgreens. It's just down the street to go ahead and see if I found the same exact glasses. And guess what I found? Look, 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 here's the sneaker glasses right here. <laughs> How much does shit cost? At $9.99. Look <laughs> uh, at you poor ass bitch. Hey, Craig, your, uh, your family get you that jacket at Walmart or Kmart? <laughs> now, this guy already made a gay joke on his video against me, which I never really understood why niggas is always so fascinated over other men's sexual preferences, but... At any rate, like I said before, this nigga is nothing new, and he pretty much is on the verge of saying anything and everything that everyone else has said. So I'm pretty sure he's going to make a joke about the hairline next, and hey, I can make a joke about the hairline too. So hey, I already knew it's fucked up. This hairline's so fucked up, bitches trying to follow it, they trip. I'm just saying, but hey, my brother, let me ask you something. Do you even lift? Because I do, bitch. <laughs> 
I'm just saying. But I mean, if you guys think Fat Albert is bad now, there's something else you guys need to be aware of. Apparently, this nigga ain't never seen a bath in his life. Look at his fucking skin, dude. Next time you go to Walgreens to update your subscription, <laughs> you better go pick some, some up some Noxzema or some shit. <laughs> some Clearasol. <laughs> Nigga, flame though. <laughs> I'm just saying, dude. Look at your fucking skin, dude. No, 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 no. It gets worse than that, dude. What the fuck is with your walls, son? Damn, damn. Nigga, at this time, no, you don't. You need. To, <laughs> I would say go wash your walls, but nigga, it, it's beyond washing right now. I would say go paint that shit, but it's beyond paint right now. You need to knock down a wall, okay? <laughs> Look, dirt spot, 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 dirt spot. Damn, son. You ain't never seen a piece of curtain in your life. And look at these covers. Look at these covers is straight Walmart done. I'm just saying. Look, look. I'm just saying. Ah, nigga, you poor as fuck. And you trying to talk shit about me? Nigga, sit your poor ass down. I mean, we would tell your parents to shop at nicer places, but... Your mom is so poor, she can't even pay attention. So, I bust this nigga's feelings wide open. I know I did. For two reasons. Number one, I know his feelings was wide open because he used to do videos like that with the webcam and whatnot. Where you could see the back of his walls and you could see his face and all that. And I would, I'm willing to bet you that he ain't, he hasn't, ever since I did that particular video, he didn't do another video like that for months. Like, almost probably to date, he has never done another webcam video like that. And if he has, I bet you that, like, the background and everything behind him is all closed off to the point where you can only see his face or something like that. I bet you. Like, I haven't really looked at his channel or not because I don't give a fuck him like that. You know, but I bet you it's like that. <laughs> I'm serious. I mean, and let's just be honest about it, man. For a man who you don't even know got you so bad that you changed the way you did your whole shit, dude, you don't get no more wide open than that. I'm just saying. Just saying. That's number one. And number two, the reason why I know he had his feelings bust open, because he continued the drama. All right, so basically what happened was is that after this whole video, right, uh, he did a video after me. I didn't even watch it. I, I was like, eh, dude, you already lost, you know. I owned you in the first six minutes. It's all good from there. But then uh, he continued on. So uh, basically it was like this. Let me show you exactly when this was. So in terms of timeline, right, uh, let me see this. Here we go. So, you know, this was actually the video that I actually made him, the video I'm talking about, talking about right now, right? So, I made a video, you know, gameplay video right there, and then he talked about me and saying that, oh, Zephyrnix went ahead and flagged my channel. Now, hold on, dude. How the, why the fuck would I flag your channel? Dude, I basically smacked the black off you, okay? So, there was no need for me to go flagging or anything like that. My feelings was not a place yours was. So, I suspect that he went ahead and took care of his own channel, making sure that he only flagged two videos, you know? I was just saying, you know? He made sure he only flagged two videos to make sure his channel survived, but to make sure that he can go ahead and blame on me. That's number one. Number two, nigga, get the fuck over it. Now, just assuming, of course, that you didn't flag your own, um, your own shit, okay? I ain't flagged your channel. So here's the thing, dude. Do you not realize I get flagged every month, whether it's some PlayStation fanboy who got his feelings all out of whack just like you did, or it's become some multi-million dollar company, um, notice I did something better than them, and they wanted to go ahead and stop my shit. For example, the Sailor Moon video, where I went ahead and translated their, um, Japanese Sailor Moon video, but they wanted to put theirs out. So they went ahead and flagged mine so they can go ahead and get the views and the money for their particular one that they pretty much just used my, uh, video, you know? But whatever. Point of case is this, dude. I ain't flagged your video. I ain't have to flag your video because as you guys plainly seen from that last video, dude, I mopped the floor with him and that was just the first six minutes. So it went on, right? I'm doing a whole bunch of things. I did a review of, Battle, of, of the demo of Battle of Z, Nintendo Direct review, um, some other things too. Um, I read a new comic book, uh, picked up Smite, started playing Smite for a while. James Avery passed away. Rest in peace, my brother. Rest in peace. Um, and it kept going. I, nigga, I even went back to college 
<laughs> no. And all of a sudden, here he is again. So apparently, here's another video that I did on him because he went ahead and got six months later, mind you, still was caught out of whack with his feelings all out of place, where he went on Broken Games video and went ahead and started um, taking jabs at me again three months later. After all that bullshit, I don't forgot who he was. Three months later. So, it keeps going anyway. So, I stopped him. I'm playing. I picked up Naruto, Ultimate Ninja Storm 3, um, uh, EverQuest, Titan, for all these games. I'm sitting there. I'm gaming, you know? I ain't even bothered with him no more. Me and um, uh, One Stop for Games got into it right now. Um, truth Be Told, um, Revenge, you know, Truth Be Told again. Classic battle, you know? Of course, someone fucked it up because they told him that I had this uh, information, which... I mean, dude, what the fuck would I have your information? I don't give a fuck like you. I don't give a fuck about no one on this YouTube like that, okay? I need to go ahead and go grab some information, okay? I'm just saying. Anyway, so it keeps going, right? All of a sudden, we get to this part, you know? All of a sudden, you know, out of nowhere, he admits that he was sitting there uh, peeking at my videos, right? So he admit that he was sitting there peeking at my videos, and... um it's kind of cute, actually. Anyway, so he admitted that he was sitting there stalking my videos, and all of a sudden, magically, some subscribers showed up there, you know? And all of a sudden, now he was like, oh, Zephyrnix, I caught you buying subscribers. What's going on, Zephy? What, really, dude? Really? Like, I'm buying subscribers, really? Like, do you not know how much money I make? If I, I'm just saying, if I was really buying subscribers, you would not know it. Okay, because I can afford to go ahead and keep up the charade. It's not a big deal. It's number one, and number two, more importantly, why? I don't get like I don't get much money from um YouTube. I get more money from actually going to work. You don't know nothing about that, but yes, I get money going to work than I actually do on YouTube. You know, but then like I said, he don't understand that though. You know, that's a poor man's um mentality right there. You know, so. Um, yeah, I found out that my, uh, my account was, um, you know, there was some stuff on my account. Like I said, I noticed that he, he even admitted that he was, um, sitting there walking on the account though. So he made about seven videos on me. And, you know, like I said, I was even out of, um, I went out of town, did a whole bunch of stuff. Now, this is the part where he all of a sudden wants to go ahead and say, oh, Zephyrnix, you were, uh, you flagged my accents. Let me show you something right here. Notice how this video says July 2nd, 2014. You go down here, this video says August, okay? Now, the thing about it is that if you actually go ahead and look at the, um, here we go, look at the videos here. This is the video, let me see, oh, this is the, this is the video where I did, where I went out of town, which, as I told you right there, same video right there, done on July 2nd. Then the video right after that was the AdSense video right there, which I did about uh, a couple of days later. Why did I do it a couple of days later? Very simple, because I was in the hospital, which, for the record, you do not have access to a computer. Uh, it was that kind of hospital. I don't even have Wi-Fi, and I don't have my laptop at the time I sold it. So, therefore, I hate to break this to you, but how could I go ahead and flag your own AdSense when I wasn't even available? I was in the hospital for a couple of days. I was I was sitting there like <laughs> like not gonna say fighting for my life, but my right my left side of my body would felt like it was fucked up by someone who just did not know how to choose the right side of my body. And on top of that, I was on medication. So I didn't even have time to come not yeah, I didn't have time to go ahead and flag your video or do anything to you because I was in the hospital. You know? Now, this is what I think happened. Now when I went ahead and did this video, right, right after I did this video, when I came home, um, I had just got accepted to a, um, to a new thing, right, where I was able to go ahead and start, um, like, I had more power, basically, on YouTube. And one of the powers I had was actually going ahead and putting my own ads on other people's videos who actually use my videos. So if you use my videos, I can go ahead and monetize your videos and try to go ahead and make money off your shit. Which, for the record, I did that to him twice on two of the videos. So I was making money off of his uh, brand new fame that he was getting off on me, constantly making money. And I was like, and it wasn't a lot, mind you, but I was funny. It was like, dude, I'm making, I'm like taking money out your pocket and putting it in mine. You go ahead and keep hating, man. Keep hating, keep hating. So the thing about it was is that all of a sudden his AdSense get removed. Now, why would I go ahead and mess up my own wallet 
You know, that don't make any sense. Let me tell you what I think would happen. I think what happened was is that he tried to go ahead and kind of set me up for the okie doke by going ahead and messing with um my my AdSense on his page and fucked himself up. That's what I think happened. Now, that may not have been what happened, but I'm pretty sure that's what happened. He tried to go ahead and get the last laugh and fucked himself up. It is what it is at this point. You know, so... At that point, I was just like, well, fuck it, dude. And I was like, well, let's end the drama. Fuck it, dude, because this ain't going nowhere. You know, this is going to be another one of those situations where, you know, hey, you're gay. No, you're gay. No, you're gay. No, you're gay. No, fuck that shit. I ain't trying to get into that bullshit no more. And this nigga did another video on me after this one. It's funny because he called it the reason why Zephy's mad at me. Now, I didn't actually go ahead and watch the video, but I know from the title, he met, um, one, he mad, two, he lying. Because why would I be mad at you? You ain't do shit. For me to be mad at you know <laughs> i mean literally think about it for a second that whole entire time you didn't change anything about my channel okay if anything i've got more subscribers from actually going ahead and um going back and forth with you not not as much as you got from me you know because like i said my haters are everywhere you know but yeah i still got subscribers from um doing and i got more views so why would i be mad at you Okay, I don't hold a grudge. I don't give a fuck. Like I said, if I was to shut down this channel today, okay, I'm making money still. Okay, I got a job. I got a college education. It is it is all good. Woo, that was a long ass video. We're already at past 20 minutes. I haven't done a video like this in a while. But here's the thing, man. I'm just going to call it, call it down the line. I mean, you want to know if this nigga's a drama queen? Fuck yeah, he's a drama queen. And I'm like, this nigga, he cries about everything. And, oh, so black, me, blah, blah, blah. Oh, this, oh, that. Oh, this, oh, that. Nigga, shut the fuck up. You know, really. Really. And that's the reason why, I mean, and it's funny because he's so worried about, he, should, he ain't worried about the shit that he should be worried about. Like, the fact that this nigga been out of a job for the year and a half, so fucking around on YouTube. You know? He won't fuck around on YouTube, but then you don't want to go get out and get yourself a job. You talk about how you big and bad because you grew up in Memphis. Nigga, I would survive in Memphis too if I never left the fucking house. Matter of fact, I bet you I'm right. I want you guys to go ahead and check out his Twitter, check out his Facebook. Um, and then after that, I want you to take a look at the, uh, the date that this video was made. I bet you, when you check those two sources, you will never find a picture of that nigga outside his house. I bet you, because he don't leave the house. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying. And not to mention, dude, he was talking about how Memphis is a top um, uh, crime written um, state. Yeah, or something like that, right? And I'm like, no, I'm not, no, I'm not state city or whatever. Um, I think he's talking about Tennessee as a whole. Now, understand something, dude. The reason why that is, is because you got snitches up in there, okay? Which, for the record, we're going to talk about in a minute because not only that nigga tried to snitch on me too. So now, oh, he asked about someone's breast on YouTube. Nigga, <laughs> that nigga's a snitch in the hand. So yeah, drama queen, a bitch, and a snitch. Now here's the thing, man. I grew up in Jersey, okay? Okay, and you will ask anyone who out there, there is like, we got gangs and the mob. We got the Bloods, we got the Crips, and we got the mob up in New York. New Jersey and Connecticut, the mob is more presidented in New Jersey and New York, while the gangs are more presidented in uh, New York and Connecticut, you know, um, you know, Connecticut, you know, and all that stuff right there, right, so check it out, right, here's the thing, where I come from, <laughs> the reason why the crime rate ain't as high as it could be is because we, <laughs> where I come from, they have a disappearing, a ghost, a vanishing act where people who are snitches, they go away. Okay? They go away. They get shot. Their bodies disappear. Okay? I'm just saying. It is what it is. I'm not judging. Why not picking? No, no, no. I'm not getting that far. What I'm saying is that the reason why your crime rate is high is because that crime rate has to be reported. Okay, <laughs> our crime rates don't get reported because number one, these people disappear. Number two, when people notice that these people disappear, they ain't going to say shit because they don't want to disappear. I'm just saying, you ask Zaire, you ask, and you said hard eight times is your boy, right? You ask hard eight times. Okay, you ask anybody who grew up in the tri-state area. Okay, when it comes down to it, I wish you would snitch, you know? I wish you, I wish a nigga would snitch when you growing up in that area, okay? Ask anybody, you know? 
I'm done. Um, so that's the true story. You guys saw that. I put everything out there. You um, you can see for yourself. I ain't hide nothing. You know, you want to know Jack Feet Johnny's um, a drama queen? You saw it right there. It is what it is. You know, that's the reason why this nigga keep bringing my name up. That's the reason why this nigga keep, he actually went out of his way to make excuses to go ahead and continue drama. You don't get no more drama queen than that. I'm out.